everyone. Today we are going to continue the exercise from the theory grade two. So I will actually skip this page. This is just uh, meaning from the Italian terms. You can easily find the answer from the previous page of grade one, grade two, grade three. It's all here. So this is just some example here. Dolce means sweet. Just fill in the blank. Mice toso made stickly. Also just fill in the blank and match the words with the same meaning. So allegro is lively. Vivace is also lively. Just match. Decrescendo getting softer. This one also. So just match and opposite meaning so press so very fast this is very slow and then just match and we will skip this and go to the next page okay let's start from number one so look at the melody and then answer the questions below in what key is the melody so we will look at the key signature we have F sharp here it could be G major it could be minor also so there's no additional sharps which minor has so it will be the major key, G major. And name the relative minor of this key. G major has the same key signature as E minor. This is your revisions. You have learned this from grade one, right? Number two, what is the time of the music? Four, four here means it's quadruple, this one. Quadruple. And show another way of writing the time signature. It's just a C here. Number three, what does the sign like this in bar egg means? So bar egg is here. This is, it could be slow, it could be tight, right? But this is next to each other and it's the same note. It will be a tie. Tight note. Write out two notes which made the interval of six. We have learned interval as well. Write in semi-brief. So trouble clef we can actually find here as well so for example here d to b d e f g a b this is six right this two so d to b this will be interval of six they are not asking for harmonic interval or melodic interval so it doesn't matter we just write melodic here cross out any of the following time values which are not used in the melody so we will try to find here semi-brief do you have any semi-brief notes here actually there's no semi-brief we can cross out minim yes there are minims crotchets there are crotchets quaver you have quaver as well semi quaver we don't have semi quaver here so just cross it which pairs of bars have the same rhythm as bar one and two one and two is very obvious here five and six exactly the same rhythm so bar five to six and another one so here also crotchet quaver and then quaver minim so three to four so three to four and five to six okay we should write it in the other way around three four here five six here okay now give the meaning of the following allegro lively and fast just need to write it here MF is mezzo forte, right? But we usually write the meaning, not just the abbreviations, the moderately loud. Piano means soft. Poco ritardando, a little bit slower. Getting slower ritardando. Poco is a little bit, but a little bit. So, so poco is a little. Ritardando, slower, right? So a little slower. Two dots below the notes. Staccato, right? Staccato means the meaning is play, detach. Detach you better if you can write both. Although this is in the great one, I think staccato. Yep, this is the great one here. Staccato. It doesn't give you the meaning here, but you have to play short and detach. This is getting softer. It's a form of decrescendo or diminuendo, a sign of it. Getting softer the last one will be very easy copy out the first four bars without key signature so bar one to bar four without key signature if you have the sharp just put it inside so you will still have to put your treble clef no key signature immediately comes the time signature now bar one b a as usual just put it in g 
D with staccato, D with staccato, this M, F here, bar 2, E, G. Now we have F sharp because we don't have key signature in front, we have to put accidental inside. F sharp E, D, subminim, this, getting softer here, bar 3, we have B, A, G, M, F here, D staccato, D staccato, and last bar, bar 4, we have E, G, again, F sharp, G, so we have to put the F sharp. Accidental last for one bar. We have one here and we have to put another one here. If you kiss it nature, you only need to put one in front. Okay, so that will be all for this page. Something similar for the next page. Also, look at the melody and answer in what key is this melody. Again, we have F sharp here, C sharp here. No additional raise 7 note or 6 and 7, so it's not a minor scale. This will be. D major. Now name the notes in bar 3. Sounds very easy, you just need to read this but be very careful with the clef as well as the time uh, key signature. So this is B here, C sharp, you have to write C sharp, D and B. Number 3, write a rest equal in value to the notes of bar 16. Bar 16 is here. So this is a minim, minim rest will be here. What does the sign, this sign at the end of bar 8 means? You have to repeat, right? So repeat sign. The music of the first 8 bar, it heard how many times at all? Because you play it once, you got to repeat once, right? So total is two times. What is the time of the music? Two, four, obviously it will be duple and show how the key signature is written in the bass clef. So F sharp, C sharp in the bass clef will be like this. this. The place will be fixed. Then show how the notes in bar 15 and 16 are written in this clef. So 15 and 16. You have to keep the same pitch. This is the F sharp above middle C, right? That's why it's so high here with additional lines here. So F sharp and then E and another E here, now D, like this. So same pitch but different clef. Name the interval mark A. A is here between bar 8 to 9. So this is D, this is A, interval of 5th. You can count D, E, F, G, A, 5 step. Now this is E to A. Remember to count from the bottom. E, F, G, A, you got fourth. If you count A to E, A, B, C, D, E, you get fifth. The answer will be different. So remember, count from the bottom to the top. Now give the meaning of the following. Andante at a moderate pace, walking speed. So, oops, pace. Okay, moderately loud again. Same as your previous page. So this one, give prominence. It's like slightly accented. Now this is getting louder. You see from small going to be bigger. So it's getting louder. And this is slur. Usually in this case it's slur. And it means play smoothly. It wouldn't be tight. Tight, they will give you two notes like this. Two notes next to each other. Then it will be tight. MP will be moderately soft. Staccato, again, it's the same answer from the previous page. So, sort and detach. This is accent. Accent, you have to play that note really very loud. And this is from big to small, right? So, getting softer. Retain neutral means it's slow. Hold back. Okay. Could be hold back, slow at once. Last one, we write bar 1 to 4 in 2 to two times. Include all the terms and signs found. This question seems a little bit incomplete, I think. So there's no room for us to write the key signature here. It will be too squeezed. And there's no instruction asking 
to write accidentals instead of the key signature. So I think we have two options. One is we just squeeze it in, the other one just put it the accidentals. Okay, so D from crotchet become minim. Stakato MF, this is bar one. Bar two, A, two crotchets A become two minims for A. And then, so bar three, B, C, D, B. Everything just double it up. And bar four, minim becomes semi brief. That's all actually for this. Okay, so if you do not put in the key signature, you have to put C sharp here. There's no F sharp, so you can skip the F sharp. 116 crochet, so 116 crochet beats in a minute. Bar 3 to 4 are in a minor key, name the key. So you have a B flat here, means it's, it could be F major, it could be D minor. And now you have C sharp, which is raised to 7 notes. So this will be the relative minor from F major, which is D minor. Now bar 9 to 12 is in the major key. So it's back to the F major because you have B flat here and you don't have any additional sharps. So back to the relative major. Now name the notes in bar 3 again. Simple questions, but it could be tricky sometimes. Be careful with the clef. C sharp first note. Second note. Same bar, you will have C sharp as well. Don't just write C, you will be wrong. So C sharp, C sharp, D, E, and G. Now the interval marked with bracket in bar 6. F to G, just next note. Second, what does 4-4 four, four mean? So 4 crotchet beats in a bar. So every bar we have 4 crotchet beats. And what does this sign mean? So it's also another same question, repeat sign, just repeat. Grazioso in the bar one, gracefully, this is Italian terms. In which bar is this rhythm found? Quavers and minims, so bar two. The music of the first four bars is heard two times, of course, because of the repeat sign, you have to repeat. Now, give the meaning of the following, rallentando, getting slower, moderately loud again for MF. <clears throat> now, P, piano means soft, F means loud for forte, and this is getting louder. We have the same questions. And then this is getting softer, this is staccato, it's short and detached. Staccato anyway, we done this in the previous page. And this is give prominence, like slightly accented. Now we write the rhythm of bar one to four in four two times. So again, this is four four, right? Um here I will switch it a little bit higher. Okay, so four four here, you need to put it in four two, basically just double up everything. So Bar 1 from crotchet become minim, quaver, crotchet, and then crotchet become minim, minim. Now bar 2, crotchet, 4 crotchets, 1 semi brief, bar 3, a minim, 2 crotchets, and 2 minims. Bar 4 will be 2 minim and a semi brief. Okay, so that's the answer. It's a game of Italian terms. So across, I've written it inside actually, soldier marching, of course, in the style of a match, a la Marcia. An angry man talking, of course, very loud, so fortissimo for number two. And a ballerina dancing gracefully, it will be grazioso. And a children playing, playing merrily, it will be giocoso. An old lady walking usually slowly, like so. It's a largo and a lento. Now the queen will be majestically, maestoso. A young boy running fast, right? Usually it's a vivo and allegro. A singer singing sweetly, dolce. The final revisions. Number one, add the missing figures to the time signature and then describe the time. So 
If bottom is 4 means we count in crochet. How many crochet do we have? This all are equals to 1. Another one here. So 2, 4 means simple double. And then the bead will be crochet beads. Next, bottom is 2 means we count in minim. Here is 1 minim, 2 minim, 3 minim in total. So 3, 2, 2, 3, 4 on top is still simple. Simple, 3 will be triple. And then we are counting in minim, so minim bits. Next, we count in 4. How many crotches do we have? So this equals to 1 crotchet, 3 quiver with a triplet. So it will be 2 of them only. Same goes for this. 2, 4 which is simple, again, duple for two, and this is crotchet bits. Now three something, so it's confirmed simple triple because on top is three, but we don't know the bottom one yet, whether it's crotchet, minim, or quaver. So we can come from the back if it's easier. The one quaver here, two quaver here, three semi quavers with a triple, which is equal to two only. So these are also another quaver means 3, 8, simple, triple, quiver, bits. Next, also, 3 on top means it's simple, triple, but it will be 1 crochet, 2 crochet, 3 crochet, so 3, 4, simple, triple, crochet, bits. Next, on top is 2, means it's simple, duple, and then we count in minim. See, 1 minim here, 3 crochet with a triplet, right, in the total. So it's equals to 1 minim, which is in the total of 2 minims. 2, 2, simple, duple, minim, bits. <clears throat> now, 4 counts on top means simple, quadruple. And then we see, do we have 4 crochet here or 4 minim here? So this theory of the minim with a triple sign makes only 2. And then this another two, so four minim in a bar, four two, simple quadruple, minim bits. Next, add a rest, or it could be more than one rest, at each place marked with the asterisk to make the bars complete. So we need three for you. Already have the third bit, first bit is incomplete, second bit is missing. So settle the first bit, one, two, and three. Okay, now first bit is given, 2 and 3 is missing. Do not combine the second and third bit. So we have two separate crotchet rests. Now, first bit is missing, second bit is here, combining here, and this is the third one. 1, 2, and 3. First and second, you can combine. So just one minimum rest will do. Next, 4, 4, you need a quiver rest here. So 3 quiver with a triple makes 1. 1, 2, 3, and 4 is complete. One and a half, put another half, so you have two already. Now the third bit is also incomplete. Another quiver rest here to make the third bit and the fourth bit. So do not combine these two into one crotchet rest because we will have to settle bit by bit. So one, two, three, four, again, two and three, do not combine. So first and second is here, three and four is missing, one minimum rest. One and two, or three and four, you can combine. Next, three, two. You need three minim, one minim here, second is missing, third is incomplete. Second bit will be a minim rest, third bit will be a crotchet plus a crotchet. So this is one, two is missing, three is given, you can combine first and second. So one semi brief rest. Now, first bit is incomplete, second bit, third bit is complete. So, dotted crotchet here, another quiver, makes a minim, two, three is complete. Whole bar empty, whether it's two, four, three, four, 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 now it's three, two, just put a semi brief rest. It's called bar rest. Lastly, four, two, one, two is incomplete, right? So, make it complete, three and four is done. First, second bit incomplete, third and fourth is here, so. One on its own, two is here, and then three and four. Okay, one is missing, second bit is also missing, third, fourth is here. One and two is given, three and four, another semi-brief rest will do. 
write the tonic triads with key signature G major so key signature we have F sharp here G major we have F sharp tonic triad first third fifth notes of the scale so G of course B and D now D major you have two sharps right F sharp and C sharp and then we, of course we'll begin on D F sharp and A the F sharp we don't need to write sharp on the notes because it's already in front D minor come from F major the relative minor relative major so of course begin on D D minor and F major both have B flat now, B flat major we have B flat and E flat and we have to begin on B flat and then D and F now E flat major we have B flat E flat and A flat begin on E flat E flat G and B flat now E minor comes from G major G major has F sharp so does E minor both have F sharp begin on E G and B okay now A major we have three subs which is F sharp the first one second one C sharp third one will be G sharp begin on A C sharp E F major we have B flat begin on F F A and C A minor same as the C major there's no sharp no flat so begin on A, C, and E. Now write the tonic triad without the key signature. So if there's any sharps, just put it inside. G major, G, B, D. G major have F sharp, but there's no F note here. So we just leave it like this. D major, D, F sharp, and A. We have to put the sharp here because D major have F sharp and C sharp. And the F note is here. It appears. D minor come from... F major which has B flat so just the notes B flat major obviously we will start from B flat D and F we have B flat and E flat right but there's no E flat so it's okay now E flat major we have to begin on E flat here we have B flat E flat A flat so B flat is here you can write here okay so B flat E flat E minor come from G major there's no F sharp it's okay A major A C sharp E because A major has F sharp C sharp G sharp F major you have B flat so F A and C C major very easy no sharp no sharp no flat C E and G okay again this is give the meaning of Italian terms yeah, fill in the blank. So, crescendo getting louder, diminuendo getting softer, allegro is lively and fast, lento means slow, accelerando getting faster, larentando getting slower. The couple are fine, so repeat right from the beginning to the end. There's a sign usually, D, C, then you just repeat from beginning, fine, then stop there. Moderato, moderately, legato, smoothly. Allegro means fast, right? Assai means very, so when you combine together, it's very fast. Pew means more, more so movement, so when you combine, also more movement, or it could be faster as well. Menno, more so less movement. So, last page. Write the scales ascending and descending without key signature, so we put accidentals when necessary, and then mark semitone with our brackets. You can choose harmonic or melodic. So now A major ascending, of course we begin on A. There's no key signature, so don't need to write anything here. Just A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, going up, coming back, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. So A major have F sharp. F sharp here, C sharp, G sharp. Okay, so F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, three subs. And for all the major keys, you have semitone in number three and four. One, two, three, four, which is these two, last two. So same goes when you come back, come from the back. One, two, three, four. These two, last two will be this A. Okay, and a G sharp here. So F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, three sharps. 
Next will be B flat major. Begin on B flat. C, D, you have E flat because B flat major, you have two flats. A, B flat, coming back, descending. You start from B flat, you end on the notes B flat as well. So, B flat and E flat, three to four, last two, mm -mm -mm. three to four. Okay, now E flat major, be careful at the clef, look at the clef. So, this is bass clef, E flat, F, G, we have three flat, B flat, E flat, A flat. C, D, E flat, coming back, D, B flat, A flat, E flat, same thing, last two, number three, number four, now minor, A minor, which form do you choose? Let's do harmonic. We start from A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, coming back. So for harmonic form, we need to raise note number 7. A minor comes from C major, no sharp, no fret note number 7 will be G, raise it. Descending, same thing, harmonic, up and down, same rules, just raise note number 7. As for the semitone, if you forget the number, then just count. B to C, E to F, G sharp to A. We will have three semitones instead of two, like major. Mm -hmm. C to B. Okay, now let's try melodic for the E minor. Begin on E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, and come back. And E minor comes from G major, right? G major have F sharp, we have to put it in F sharp. Melodic, go up, ascending, we need to raise number 6 and 7, which is C becomes C sharp, D becomes D sharp. When you come down, you don't have to raise these two. So these two became natural, only have F sharp. So melodic F sharp to G, last two, coming back is different because the note is also different, right? E to F sharp is not F sharp to G, G to A, A to B, B to C is a semitone. Okay, so different place of the brackets. Last one, D minor. Let's try melodic again. So we begin on D, D, E. F, G, A, B, C, D. So D minor comes from F major. F major, we have B flat here, right? But we need to raise note number 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 6 and 7. B flat, raise a semitone, became B natural instead of a B flat. Actually, you don't have to put anything here, so just put C sub because it's already natural, right? So when you go up, raise note number 6, note number 7, B flat become natural, natural becomes sharps. When you come back, there is no need to raise 6 and 7, so you only have to put in your key signature, which is the same as the relative major, B flat. So E to F is semitone. C sub to D is semitone. When you come back, B flat to A, F to E. Okay, that's all. Thank you.